And you had, uh, maybe you could talk, why did you stay in Elizabeth? I mean, you moved, you got another store in Red Bank, and there's, I know the family attachment, but why stay? You've been here, you We've slug it out, here. you've expanded your store. I was born and raised here. Um, we stayed in Elizabeth because Elizabeth, our Elizabeth store is home. It really is. Um, our customers come to us from all over. It's so centrally located. It's a fabulous town. People, I don't think, realize the potential there is in this city. As Michael briefly mentioned, three and a half percent sales tax. But more important than that, because that was just within the last maybe 15 years, and obviously we've been here for a lot longer than that. But Elizabeth really well, when is. When you first started, there was no sales tax. Oh, really? See, yeah. that was, I was just born. I don't remember, I don't remember that. that. You don't remember that. You were a youngin. I was a baby. <laughs> anyway, um, where, where is Elizabeth? Elizabeth is located right off of the New Jersey, uh, the Garden Turnpike. State Parkway, the Turnpike, Route 78. We're minutes from Newark Airport. We have people that travel. I cannot tell you, literally. They'll fly in and come to our Elizabeth store. It's minutes away. Michael hit something before, hit on something before about the fact that it's an immigrant town. There is something about the people who shop in our Elizabeth store, and even after they've moved out of the area, they, there's just a warmth that you don't get. And people will come to our Elizabeth store, even customers who yeah. have shopped in Red Bank or, or our Elizabeth customers who will go to our Red Bank store, and they say the same thing. We like the Elizabeth store. There really is something The design special. of the stores is very similar, though. Yeah, it is. In terms yeah. of the um, cabinetry the inside, yeah. and everything else, yeah, the, yes. But the actual, the, the store, of course, our Elizabeth store, the way it was started, you know, we had a, my father, I don't know if you know, when he first opened the store, when he first bought the building, he bought that building where my uncle's clothing store was, and he wasn't allowed to put a jewelry store there. That was... Um, Michael Cohn's original jewelry store. So we he bought the building next door. So the configuration's a little bit different, but yes, you know, we tried to mimic the two stores so that people feel the same. The Michael Cohn's store was in Elizabeth or Red Bank? No, Elizabeth. Oh, it was in Elizabeth. The, the original. This yes. was going back in the 60s. Right? Yes. We're, we're, we're talking about early 60s. Early right, 60s, right, where the clothing store used to yeah. be, next okay. door to the jewelry store. So to us, Elizabeth is just a no-brainer. It's so a great Rolex town. makes you unique. Elizabeth makes you unique. Mm -hmm. What else makes you unique, Michael? Well, I mean, actually, that's a great question. Uh, I think a couple of things make us unique. Um, first of all, we're family business, and I really believe that family businesses have a different approach to customers than other businesses. Uh, and what I mean by that, and this is again not to make anybody you know talk talk out of turn against anybody, is that is the following. A family business, the approach to a customer, if they're really good business people, is long term. It's not short term. What happens in box stores where you have a corporate owner and then you have staff that, that gets staffed by people that are not that the owner is not present, is by and large you have staff running in and out of that store. You've got a turnaround going year to year. Sometimes staff stay there for six months, sometimes they stay a year and a half, but there's a turnaround. In a, in a family-owned business, you really, and I, and I think this really speaks to, to, to our own staff here, We've, we have staff that have been with us for 15, 20, 30 years. I mean, we have staff that go back. Most of our staff have been forever, plus you've got the owners that are here at, at both locations, present at both locations. Why is that important? It's important because the approach to the customer is long-term. It's not about making a lot of money once. If you're getting a commission and you're only going to be there for six months, you're going to beat that customer up to make sure that they buy the most they can while they're there. Sometimes we do the opposite. Sometimes in our store, we'll have a customer come to us and we say, you're buying the wrong thing. This is really better for you and it's cheaper. At the end of the day, since, I'm, I'm look, we're, since we're all looking out for the long-term interest of that customer, we keep them for life. We may make less money on each transaction, but at the end of the day, I make more profit because my approach has been long-term. That customer stays with me long-term. That's, so that's one issue. The other issue is something that I said before, and that is that we blaze our own trail. We do not follow the industry. Uh, I forgot to mention this as an example. We were the first 
to travel to Italy as an example. So we, we blazed our own trail there. We didn't follow the industry. We were the first to offer South, multicolored South Sea pearls of any independent jewelry store. We started that rage. So basically what we do is we, we, we're constantly in the forefront of the industries. We're leaders, we're not followers. And I think that makes a difference. And going back to Rolex, our father was the first Latin American distributor Ro of Rolex watches. And if it wasn't for the fact that we, you know, we did have the type of jewelry we had, Rolex would probably have never come to the table. You know, we were able to bring in such high quality Swiss watches because of the fact that my father took those um, took those difficult, made those difficult decisions, but they weren't so difficult in the long Yvette, run. Before we run out of time, what are the times of the event on April 5th? Uh, we're going to be starting at 2 o'clock. I believe that's when you will be coming. And the party itself will be going from 2 to 8. 2, two to, to 8, 8 p.m., so. yeah. So you got a, a full day of events We have a full day, there. hopefully, and we're very excited to be able to help out with Trinitas Hospital, which is such a wonderful partner for us. Um, and we really hope that a lot of people will come, will be able to purchase some new watches and, of course, jewelry. And, and have fun. And have fun. That's yeah. you, know, so you tried to sell me a watch once, and I uh -oh. still own a watch. I'm never going to own a watch. Well, you, you're going to buy the Rolex I, then. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you for being on the show. Thank we you gotta wrap much, it up, okay? Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It's thank always you. a pleasure. Thank you very for much. For Michael Zeke and Yvette Fernicola of Leonardo Jewelers, I'm Chris Bolwage. We'll see you next week on another edition of Our City.